Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today in our publication of Why Should I Live. This is written by me, recorded by me for our audiobook on 128-2024. I hope you enjoy this. The layout of the book, our cover page. This is for you. For you to write. For you to express yourself. Because this isn't about me and sharing my story. It's, it's, it's a bit, but that's not the purpose of the book. You see, the purpose of this book is to give you an example of the healing process. By sharing your story, by sharing your creativity, by expressing yourself, you start to heal. You start to take back some control over your life. That of which you may have lost, you can gain back through expressing yourself, through expressing your story. Please, please, I encourage you, share your story with me. Share your story with the world. We all want to hear it. The thing about us human beings is when we go through something, when we keep it, and we hold on to it, and we don't express it, when we hurt ourselves, and we compoundedly hurt ourselves by not expressing our story, by not sharing that of which is inside us. So this is to inspire you, to help you, to share your journey, to heal, to be the best you that you can possibly be. I hope this helps. If what you read feels like too much, please read the last page. If you find a poem that speaks to you or your feelings or your experience, please share and attach the last poem. And if you'd be so kind to share why you like it, I would most definitely appreciate it. Throw on the hashtag, why should I live? So our intro, this book, journal, diary, was intended to be used as a flotation device through the rough waters of life. It includes a personal account of my autistic life, my abuse, and the trauma I have endured to be the person I am today, along with an empty page for you, so you can share your story. Whether it be through words, calligraphy, drawings, a play, or whatever your soul needs to discuss, this book is intended to be used as a friend holding your hand along the way to avoid the pitfalls of what life can hold. I hope for those of you reading that you do not feel as much pain as I have. And if you have, even more so, I love you. I promise you, it will get better. One day, it will not hurt as much as it does now. My life is to that testament. This is the last page. All of this just to learn that I will make it farther than he, because he beats me to be free. To teach a lesson that has yet to be understood. Knowledge is in pain, hiding under the hood. This is the explanation. This would be what you would see on the back of the book or on the side page. Love is the answer. If you're reading this book and waiting, searching, hoping that there would be an answer to your pain, your sorrow, your trauma, an answer that would connect with you in hopes to see a brighter day for tomorrow. The answer is love. Through love, all is possible. You can turn your life around in a day. It's not going to be easy. I promise you that. I know all too well how hard it is going to be. It is going to hurt like the day you receive these wounds, but hurt 
for better. Hurt for all the times you wish you could have spoken up. Hurt for the pain they put you through, knowing you didn't deserve this. Hurt for the lies you let yourself believe. Hurt for all the broken promises that you held on too long to see. Hurt for a better tomorrow. Because through this hurt, you find love at its deepest depths. For those of you who hurt with all that is inside of you, it burns with a force. That force is love trying to escape that terror that we put it through. When we hold on to the hatred inside, it only hurts us more. When we believe that the worst is all to come, it does. But when you hope and you pray and you give yourself all up to it, you let yourself love everything and anything that comes to it. Watch the rewards flow for all that come to it. Look to love and your answers will be. The day that I was ready to kill myself, the night I was to plunge the kitchen knife into my chest and see how far I could pull my heart out. The pain was just too much. I couldn't hold on to it any longer. The reason I'm still alive is this book. To show you with me as a running example. Love will cure all the hurt inside of you. On your worst days when you can't even think of a tomorrow, just read these passages and know you have a friend plagued with sorrow. Love will be there for you if you let it. I know the pain. I know the trauma. I know what the end of my life should have been. But know this, I still look to a brighter tomorrow. If you want to know how I did it, I cry a lot. I open myself to what I was holding onto inside. Then I prayed. I prayed. I begged for anything or anyone to help me. I could not take it anymore. It hurt so much. Through that pain, I sacrificed myself for love. Through love, I have made it this far. My life was a tragedy, but now we have turned it into a better reality. I promise you, through love, I will spend my life making the world a better place. For no child should feel such pain as I have. That's why I created this book, is to leave a legacy of what I did, of what I learned, of who I was before I was saved. So when you look to me in the past from the future of where you are and you see all that I'm doing and all that I'm trying to do and all that I'm trying to accomplish you can see it wasn't always that way that one day all it was was a thought a dream in my head to create a world where no child has to feel as I felt, where no child has to go through what I went through, where every child can feel safe in their home, loved, supported, educated, fed. Every child should be able to live through their childhood without losing their innocence. Every child should have the opportunity to love life. I hope we can make that possible. I know I'll spend the rest of my life 
dedicated to that cause. Every time we go to another poem, I want you to pause the video and write something. Express yourself. Use your inner creativity in whatever way it is. There's a, an entire ecosystem of beauty just waiting to be discovered that changes every second. No view being exactly the same, just like you won't be the same after reading this, after viewing this. Hopefully, you can come out here and let nature teach you as it has taught me. Page one. I was first a scared baby until I was a manipulated little boy. Then I was a broken teenager. But now I'm a loved man, a caring man. I am an empathetic man. And this is how I survived. I hope you can go ahead and give this pause and think about where you started, where it all began for you, and where you want to be. The reason I opened up with our first poem was because I want to show you the progression, that it isn't all terrible things that happened to me. These are all things that gave me the experience I needed to level up, to evolve, to become a new person. The person that I always wanted to be. And it just happened that what I needed it to go through was everything you're about to learn. So, if at some point in this time you're reading this or you're listening to this and you feel sadness, you feel grief, you feel guilt, I want you to express that. See where it comes from. And then, imagine a life where there are no barriers, where money, time, and effort can be achieved by the snap of a finger. And that snap is your imagination. Because this book was just a thought in my head at one time. And then through three years, constant dedication of tearing my own soul apart, I can share it with you, hopefully, to help you on your journey. Page two. Again and again, the pattern repeats. It doesn't skip not one of the beats. He shatters my will until I feel ill. I am being broken and bashed until he crashed. Only when he is asleep do I have a chance not to weep. My father, every day, takes a piece of my life away separating me from those I love, falling from the sky, me, a broken dove. Mother, oh mother, help me, please help this soul full of unease. I'm scared, I'm scared. Stop leaving me bared, to being thrown in the air, defenseless and unaware. After I turn three, my body, my body is not my own, only a shell for my father's throne, a servant, a pet, loyal and chained, walking, learning, and being maimed. Looking for a mother barely seen, now only the one who was so meek, ripped away from a mother's love, praying for help from above. Oh God. Oh God, please help me. I can barely see what the future could hold to be. I'm falling fast, deeper to unrest. The hole in my chest begins to fest. I fall in pain and the darkness creeps in. My life, my future, seeming thin. I encourage you to pause and share 
in the experience of what you're experiencing and what you feel when you hear these words. Mm -hmm. And I encourage you to meditate, to be with yourself, to love yourself. And share the story with you. I appreciate it. <laughs> The yelling doesn't ever stop. I don't listen. It's my fault. Thanks, Pam. My mother hates me, he said. She left me for someone better in bed. I try and try to make him proud, but it all just leads him to yell aloud. I am bad. I am not enough. I have to be more tough. I cry and cry, and it turns him insane. Maybe there is something wrong in my brain. I try to obey, listen to every word, but it's never enough. Oh, help me, Lord. He hits me again and again. Forever will I be in pain, caged inside his control. Obedience is taking its toll. Page five. The pain, it, it continues to grow. I hide in my head, hoping for it to slow. Far away from the world do I see caged inside a body longing to be free. A beauty crosses my eyes, love, a hope that never dies. We entangle in each other, kissing, holding, hoping to be a part of one another. Tore away from her sweet lips, punished and hurt, my head dips. Retreating back into the shell from where did I fell, to be in love but apart, oh how it hurts, my little heart. In moments we were free, and in glee the thought, the only thing that keeps me, me. I know why I'm inflicted with so much pain. It's because I'm in the wrong lane. What he says is true. I am not worth anything new. I am wrong. I deserve his torture prong. It's because I'm alive I should never make it. To five. It's my destiny to be his slave, all the way to the grave. I would care for his health for how I felt, even though he still gives me the belt. I wouldn't change what I've done. At least I know my father is having fun, wasting his life away while I keep him at the bay. Attached to this life with nowhere to go, I'll put on my little show. Anything to make his day. It's a game I know how to play. He smokes and smokes his life away, so I will make my strife an effort to keep him with me. The only one who protects, see? The way he tries to be is because of my mistake. That I was born. Fake. So I'll cry until I have no sight. Once the darkness ends, there'll be light. Where one day I'll make my flight. Far away from this world, I will dash the chance, and I'll be gone in a flash. Page 7. His words leave an echo that can't be undone. I assure you it does not bring an ounce of fun. Broken by the wicked lies and terrible truth, worse than having pulled a tooth. With every waking pain, he salts your wound with anything to main. To say you are broken barely reaches the top when anything can make his bubble pop. His words echo inside my brain, driving me to a sweet insane. When the rhythms cry, when my eyes are no longer dry, my screams are lost in his vengeful abuse. Nothing can make me feel loose. Tightly bound like a spring-loaded coil, but never shot, soiled in anguish and pain. For not. For holding and swelling with rust in my veins, nothing can hold my reins. The darkness sweeping inside, taking its time, waiting like the tide, washing away all of my hold on reality, no longer feeling gravity, being sucked into the void in my chest, leaving a soul full of unrest.
page 8. I inspire you to pause this video, share your thoughts, share what you think about it so far, and tell us who you are. Page 8. I have been broken. The shell were rot. This is not the life I would have sought. A dream with my puppy and me, just me and Fluffy, as far as we could see, to be free from the collars around our neck, to breathe in full breaths at our own beck. No longer fearing the noises of life, but enjoying the music of nature's wife. A peaceful tune sung from above. All the birds, even the dove. Fly high and praise us with their sound, has me and my dog leaping abound. Wishing and laughing in a world unknown, yet there my puppy goes, he has been thrown. A dream I couldn't share with my best friend, a relationship that met its end. The dreams fade and life pops its ugly head, a reality making me lust for an internal bed. And I have to live with this hole, leaving me with an unfinished goal, to be happy with my fluffy, my little puppy. He taught me how to love, how to see something else from above, a gift that heals whatever it touches, a gift for me like a pair of crutches, to struggle and push I was given help from the most unlikely yelp. The bark from a friend left its everlasting trend. Thank you. Page 9. If you have yet to pause and tell us about yourself, tell us about your story, tell us about what you think, I encourage you to express yourself in some type of way. Page 9. Compounding Interest. The last thread was torn. I wish I had never been born. My arms aching from being hit. The tumor in my arms pulsed in a fit. He doesn't care for the breaths I take. The next step being found dead in a lake. I can't stand being under his control. Being free is my goal. I'll run away to never hurt again. Maybe hide in a cub's den. Run and run and never be caught. It's what I deserve for how hard I fought. His constant abuse and affliction has led me to my addiction. Each discovery on the shelf finding what could be, maybe, be a sense of self. So tired of being beaten down, always looking at life with a frown. When his words repeat in my head, I swear it's a fate worse than being dead. When his anger is the way you see the mirror, nothing could be clearer. I am worthless, smaller than a mite. I have used the last of my fight. The anchor of depression has sunk. My inner hell, the lowest bunk. Where the flames roll high and hope has said bye, you start to wonder why. You had the chance to look at the sky when you are nothing but a trapped fly. Just waiting to die. Page 10. Belief in the lies. Yeah, I'm a bad boy. I don't play the game the way it's intended for fame. I don't listen to what he said. I just feel the way in my head. That's why I'm not good enough for love. That's why he's always giving me the shove. To break my will and show me I'm nothing. So that way I'll never be anyone something. I'll just be his little puppet and be led, scared to move far from his bed. A breeding ground of hate and disgust leave everything around it to rust. If I don't obey, then I will be in pain, left beaten, bashed, utterly insane, pleading for the end of his anger, hoping he reaches for his banger, to smoke his madness away and leave me to heal the wounds at bay. I know, I know, I am not free. I am under your control. Just let me be. Can't you see what's happening to me? You have broken my will. You have made me ill. I can't look to tomorrow because I'm too scared to borrow all time that I am not worthy. 
as you shown thee, then no one could love me, because I, even I, don't. Or maybe I just won't. Just can't love something so hurt. Just can't even stand to see the cork. My truth is too hard to swallow. I rather just sit back and wallow in disgust and hatred and seething. I am now wasted. Page 11. I am shackled by the compassion within. He slams the cage shut, nothing missing. The black eyes that I call a father, always I feel like I am a bother. I try and care for every action made, but my grave he has already laid. The potential is just never enough. It does not matter how tough. For me, he will not have mercy. For me, it is always more. See? I have to not make his mistakes, even if the idea gives me the shakes. I have to struggle and keep on. I just have to wait for dawn. His actions cause confusion. He dishes hope with pain, infusion, marking, and illusion. An unseen future still untold, unlikely to ever unfold. As my head gets bashed, my mental stays crashed. I'll cry and cry every night. Just... So tired of staying in the fight. I'll cry to soften the blows, but there must be something. Who knows? The endless nights of rivers from my eyes always makes me feel the lies. Please take pause and express yourself in some way. Even if it's just a few words, share with us how you're feeling your thoughts, your emotions, what this may remind you of. Page 12. In a world full of mistrust, you have to find something, a must, anything to look past today, something, anything to make you feel some way. My Yaya was there to help me. She was there from one to three. She helped me find my tongue. She helped me feel my lung. My first breath of love, something unexplained from above, a symbol of peace and hope stronger than any dope, a healing potion for your scars like a spaceship to Mars, a grandiose idea to be free, something that I had yet to see. Take a time and think about somebody who's affected your life and be thank them for what they've done and their influence and who you are today. Page 13. I cry for just about everything. I cry when the birds sing. I cry because of the new day. I cry from what they whisper and say. I cry when he hates my actions. I cry from his screaming reactions. I cry when you raise your hand. I cry because I'm in, in. An unpromised land. I cry because I know my place. I cry because I don't know my face. I cry for I have nowhere to turn. I cry for there is nothing left to learn. Page 14. I'm a pain in the ass. I cry like a sass. I am not worth my own spit. I am just worth to be hit. His words sting and leave their mark, an etching knife into my bark. I'm worthy enough to take a lick. I know that I am sick. My mind is forever rotten. My body a crushed tin. My self-worth a crushed stick. A small movie on its last flick. Maybe describe a time that you felt like the world was ending. That your life was meeting an end. That there was nowhere else to go, but look, you're still here today. And I'm I'm grateful that you're here with me. Page 15. I'm burdened in my father's pocket. I should be worth more if I was a locket. I should end my life with a fork and socket. 
I am a debt to my father. He makes sure I know I am a bother. Even when I go to school, it is cruel, for I had made a friend something to help me mend. Little had I known he was close to death, like a strung-out man on meth. He had a few months in my life. In the end, he caused inner strife. Angel was my friend's name, and his passing left me a bit lame. All of this before the first grade. It all just caused me to fade. Please share or write down or express a time that you lost someone close to you. Page 16. Angel, my friend from the past, he who was with me, the last. I didn't understand until too late. I know God's will is fate. But my anchor was taken. Angel is in a sleep that he won't awaken. Wishing I could follow in his steed, Angel took the lead. Escaped from the pain he had, how he was a fine lad. Goodbye, my friend. I'll meet you in the end. I may not be in the first grade, but I know the situation made. Page 17. Losing a friend taught me a lesson. I won't leave you guessing. To give back and give care. To be more than fair. To do all that I can to be a caring man. To live up to an idea of compassion is my only living passion. What is your passion, my friends? Please share with us. Page 18. I wake up hearing my sister, and it isn't the scary mystery. It seems she has pooped her pants. I can hear all her rants. I'm only five, but I know what it's like to be alive. I clean her up and hug her. I give her my love and close the door, wishing I knew more. To silence the cries I feel, the ones that are too real. What is something that makes you cry? Page 19. Life is always in change. The pain doesn't strike me strange. Pain, an unrelenting fact. Who? Who made this pact? I'm worried about life. Why do I have this inner strife? Maybe I'll end it with my knife. I miss my friends. I wish they never met their ends. Page 20. If you knew what it was to be in fear, to not be able to see the light near, when the hope has lost its touch, when you stop feeling much, to think a creature so unknown would offer something not shown, when you were always alone, he did not bite, he did not fight, he was as curious as I, feeling like a lie. A hermit crab I was taught by, the first to treat me kind, an experience hard to find. May we share a time that an animal gave you some hope and share it with us. What animals that you love. Page 21. I read a book. I showed her to look. She gave me a hug, softer than a tug. It wasn't a shrug, not an action to hide something deeper inside. To show compassion. A new fashion. A stranger's hold. I held it, untold. Page 22. I thought I was dead. He shot at me with lead. Maybe today I'll meet my eternal bed. 23. He punched me hard, all for a card. To go along with the crowd, all of them screaming aloud. What about our time? Is this the ending sign? I punch him back. I will not lack. Friends be done. This is not fine. Page 24. I know what it is to not say a word, to not speak what's been heard. When he used my body, I told nobody. 
it wasn't mine to tell. My inner being fell. I was used, and in an abyss I am fused. I can no longer feel it is all too unreal to be just a husk, just to not smell the musk. I am now used. I am now abused. I am what's left. He completed the theft. Maybe don't share this one if you don't feel like it. But describe a time somebody stole something away from you. Page 25. Do you ever get lost in a book? The words teleport you to look. You can see the sky, you stop asking why, enjoying the sweet break from life's growing take. Viewing a world of right where the heroes fight, they always win at the end of the night. They are the torchbearers of light. Even though knocked down, they do not frown. For they lift the world high. They make their dreams fly. Page 26. Alligator on the road, driving down with our load. He stops as I stare. He treats it fair. He gave it. It's time. But for me, does not mind. A glimpse of compassion, unlike all of our traction. Page 27. I do want to be right in the eyes of their light. To be true in their vision is my mission. When I succeed with one, the other did not think it one. Instead, angered and betrayed in anger, he stayed. Approval does not share to all life. It's strangled in strife. Page 28. He has more than I. I don't understand why. He has the gifts of leisure, everything of mine, and seizure. Does that make me pull? To always want more? And share a time that uh, you compared yourself to somebody and how you felt. Page 29. I feel weird and sick. In my throat, a dry stick. As I cough, turning red, I wish for my bed. We walk in a room that felt too clean, too organized, and so bright a doctor speaks. Big words with a troubling tone. Page 30. My first crush was in the third grade. I swear I had it made. She thought I was cool. Even when I played the fool, she makes the day now easier to play. I'm missing a part of the day. I do not know what to say. The lights are diminished. My day feeling finished. Page 31. I can't succeed at it all. At times I fall. I trip, jumping rope like a comedic trope. When I try and make the run, it is nothing near fun. Lungs filling with fire. Track makes me a crier. Share a time that uh, you were an enjoying exercise. Or maybe share a time that you thought you could do something and it, you found out that you could. Page 32. It hurts when I get it wrong. My will doesn't stay strong. I falter with a perfect test. I gave it all my best. My head screams a failure. Page 33. Describing of the day-to-day -day life as I would fade from reality. I fight and fight for a win. Every reaction leading to sin. Echoes of the word in my head. They look at me. As if I was dead. Taking all the blame, anger, and distrust. Staying alive is my only must. He screams and tears me apart. I can feel it pushing my cart. Farther away do I go. Until I do not know what to know. The beatings and bashings. The teachings and thrashings. I am expected to win. If only I was not full of so much sin. Page 34. When we move. I see the pattern repeat. It is not like some new feet. When we move, it is the same, but noon, no matter where I we go, I have a clue. 
the people will be far or few. I will be happy and quiet, put on my shoes and tie it. None of my clothes will fit. The kids will laugh and spit. It does not matter how I survive as long as in his eyes I thrive. Nothing less than perfection or it will be dealt with correction. Do you ever feel like you have to do things perfectly? Do you ever feel like what you do is just not enough, that it doesn't live up to the expectations that you set or that somebody else set for you? Please share that with us. Or express yourself. Just let it be known. Don't, look, don't hold on to these things inside. Let them go. Let the world take it and give you something new, a new life. Not filled with negativity, a new purpose that fills you up with positivity. Page 35. Crushes are crushes. They crush your heart with hope. They crush you as does its dope. A quick fix, a lover's spat, all sealed with a tap. Two taken on way too fast. Their love in the past. To the couple now bare, it does not seem fair. For each were crushed with intention. Now neither hears a mention. Have you ever seen that kind of a uh, lover's quarrel? Have you been there before in a, in a lover's spat? These infatuations. How did that make you feel? The short term relationship. Who did that make you out to be as you are today? Please share with us. Page 36. I swing and I am trapped, going to the floor now slapped. Jumping rope is a fail. I am truly... Page 36. I swing and I am trapped, going to the floor now slapped. Jumping rope is a fail. Am I truly a male? What a pity I have sung. I am worse than flea dung. My stupid hands don't follow, my crappy feet are so hollow, legs not moving in place, ending up me on my face. Page 37. I'm my own worst enemy. I'm a fucking idiot. I got it wrong by a single digit. Perfection is a lie, me an insignificant fly. I just don't understand why. Failure is always nigh. I don't get why I even try. Have you ever felt that way? Where everything seems hopeless? Page 38. Books versus games. Books take you a mile. The images in my mind make me smile. Creating a world through words, creating armies and hordes, Giving life to a spell of imagery, now my brain is the jury. But when the controller is in my hands, I'm the biggest fan. To solve the puzzle of art, to create a new cart, to bring to a life a story you can see, giving a controller allowing you to be. No longer am I imagining a new place, I have now put on a new face. I'm a warrior, a healer, a thief, I'm a druid bonding with the leaf. I can change the rules of life. I can make the universe with no strife. This world now my plaything, causing me a delightful thought to sing. Page 39. Dogs help me escape. When home is a jail where everything you do is a fail, you have to find an escape, something that doesn't grind your nape. I found comfort. In my dog, I would let him run through the fog. I would chase him and say it was our game to play. The only way to get me away. My dogs helped me run something. Sometimes it was my only fun. The dog ran away, I said, so that way we wouldn't end up dead. I feed him, my little friend. I hope we don't meet our end. If you were in a position where... Your freedom was limited. What did you do to get yourself out of that rut? To separate yourself from the hard things that you were going through? 
even if it was just for a few seconds or a few minutes. Page 40. Spiders are amazing. I see a spider's web. Amazed. A strong gust of wind and it will not be hazed. A display of strength and faith had me gazed. This patient wise spider has left me dazed. To be so small against a force, yet to not be phased. It's amazing how things can set such an example in your life of strength. Can you think of a time that you saw something or someone and it gave you strength to keep on pushing on? Maybe it was if it, even if it was just for a few more minutes. Page 41. Failures at school make life harder. School success leads to life. A C leads to strife. A D leads to a ditch. F, there won't be a smidge. I have to try my hardest, or he will throw me the farthest. I learned the lesson once. Page 42. A dark shadow hovering over me, deciding my actions. My eyes can see. It has all control over he. The body I was given, now stolen. Page 43. A deep, dark well. A story no one can tell. Deep into the void, do not be coy. Its relaxing darkness is not your friend. It is how you would meet your end. For as the void grows on you, your body, it shows. Oh, how the wicked knows when they coil in pain because they know its name. Misery is always coaxing at first. But I plead with you to not thirst, for you will drink until you drown. Page 44. The stabbing in my gut, wishing for anything but. This loneliness is insane. I'm losing every grain. My soul is spilling out. I try to shout. The darkness creeping in, I pled and beg for just one win. Just a chance to be more, hoping there is something greater in store. But all I see is the closing door. Page 45. PTSD. Yells and screams, they beckon my name. I appear instantly, appearing sane. What is it? How can I be of service? Get out! Why are you here? So nervous. I slump and walk back to my room on the way, setting down the broom. Not the first time I hear their call. Running and rushing, I fall. To the ghosts whisper in my ear, their yelling screams now seared. Years and years I hear their voice, I have to put it off as just noise. The days may pass, but their voices forever last. Do you trouble with some sort of mental illness, or do you, are you reminded of thoughts and bad times when you go to certain places, hear certain things, smell certain smells. I want you to share that with us. And then we can work together on changing the definition of those events, of those stimuli. Page 46. Abused for thoughtfulness. The sticks of smoke leading my parents to choke. I tear the pack, throw it in the trash sack. Minutes later, there is a scream. They abuse me as a team. One yelling obscenities till I'm numb, the other hitting and hurting till dumb. What a lovely lesson, Todd. Thinking of others was a terrible plot. Page 47. Death of a close companion. My dogs are my life. 
They help me avoid strife. They are there when I need a friend. They have helped me not reach my end. Oh, my sweet puppy, so joyous and cute. Your story has left me mute. When you crawled under the fence, still to this day makes me tense. Thinking of the tragedy of that day leaves me with nothing to say. Mourning over a dear friend who has now met their end. I encourage you to share a time that you've lost someone or something close to you and how it made you feel and what memories that they left you with that have made you who you are today. Page 48. Room of shit. I'll never live to his dream. Always I'll be punished, I deem. This is my life of pain where the skies cry with rain. Anything to keep my mind sane as the smells fill my head, choking on the scent of the turd bed. The smell of piss. Clean air, the smell I miss. My vision going blank. My heart now sank. All because a bit of pee. Now I get to see. Feel and be. I am shit. I have no wit. I am dog urine. I have no yearning. Have you ever been uh, mistreated in a way and given unusual methods of punishment? Have you ever told anybody about it? Have you expressed yourself? Maybe you should. Online is one of the per perfect places to do it. Completely anonymous. No one will know it's you if you don't want them to. But it make an impact for your life to be able to share that to be able to know that somebody else knows it does make an impact it does make a difference page 49 bed falling on sister I scream, yell, shout, this isn't for clout. My sister is trapped under the bed. My arms feel so weak and scrawny on my head. Tears falling hot, feeling smaller than a tot. Anybody, please run, come like the rising sun. Be my sister's savior. My strength has no favor. What a little person I am, weaker than a lamb. Page 50. Stolen. I kept it in sight. I tried with all my might. I knew I had to keep it in a safe spot. But when I came back, it had been sought. My soul went into a rot. A deep coil of regret. All my plans were fret. It was my fault. It's how I met. Page 51. The scars. Bruises, all different hues. The scrapes and cuts, so many blues. The scabs peel over, paying my dues. It's my fault, the torn skin, all this, mine, I am my own kin. No one goes through it like me. The teacher lets me see. My hurt skin, my torn body, it was not cause I was naughty. It wasn't my fault, I am a child. The CPS have now been filed. They showed up and my stepmom ran, crying because she didn't see this plan. She hurt me, but it's not her fault. It's not like my father would put it to a halt. Turns out I was the only hurt one. The secret bearing on my shoulders. A ton. Page 52. Mother to the Rescue. My mom picks me up from school. I thought it was only for kids that were cool. She took me a different way. Where are we going, I say. Somewhere you won't be hit. So there I stare and sit. Wondering what it would be like. No longer being poked with a pike. I can just sit and feel. Blank eyes, what was my deal? I couldn't feel, no rejoice, no yell. Safety would be a hard sell. 
when your life changed, did you go back to that mentality before it changed? Did you not let yourself live in the change? Did you not let yourself fully embrace what was to come, even if it was possible? Please share it with us or express yourself. Let it be heard. Page 53. Redo friends. We move so much I can't follow. Losing my friends, I wallow. Again and again, we move places, about to go to school, tying my laces. I won't know anyone there. They have already made friends. Unfair. A new school, I won't know anything, anywhere. I'll have no help when I get home. I'll be sentenced to my prison dome. So no matter where I go, I'll continue feeling so low. Not even a few months later, I say goodbye to Tater. Friends come and go so fast, not one of them last. Page 54. Mother trying to do better. She took me somewhere new. No idea where I was, no clue. She took me inside, gave me a bath. She opened the door to a new path. She cleaned my scrapes and bruises. I disappear in the thought of bruises. When the pain gets too much, I leave. My dreams, thoughts, I appear. I weave. Page 55. He will always have power over me. Again and again the pattern repeats. It doesn't skip, not one of the beats. He shatters my will until I feel ill. I am being broken and bashed until he crashed. Only when he is asleep do I have a chance not to weep. My father, every day, takes a piece of my life away. Separating me from those I love, falling from the sky, me, a broken dove. Mother, oh mother, help me please, help this soul, full of unease. I'm scared, I'm scared, stop leaving me bared, to being thrown in the air, defenseless and unaware. Page 56. Father only succeeds. I can advance in my class. I told my dad with no sass, I'm smart enough to grow. He thought of it as a fake show. He made me feel so low. You're just like your mom, a rat. Disgusting habits like your mother. I should make a new son, your better brother. After that, I won't need another. Nothing new. It's my life. His cue. Page 60. Knowing the wrong. She makes these lies, coaxes money out of neighbors, she tries. She doesn't care using her family ties. Try, she does, but I cannot. I know the present will not be forgot. My conscience is clear I can be anywhere near here. Her lies to gain, not for fame, merely for a pleasurable gain. Page 61. Yell to cry. All she needs to do is yell. Then I can feel the tears, a salty smell. I know they are coming. I can't hold it back. The pressure building on my tears sack. If I cry, it'll be whack. But the tears flow down my face, yelling stronger than mace. I put my head down, stifle my cry, asking, oh why, oh why? Does just the threat of a yell be my crying tell? Page 62. Change does not change. All the schools seem the same, always being called by my name. Echoing through my hollow hall, all the strife making me fall. How I wish I could stand tall, hold my head up high, yet I sit there and sigh. No matter what I change or be, my father's shadow. I'll see. Nothing new to me. I am a shell of he. How the burdens chase, leaving me to waste, always leaving a vile taste. I encourage you to share your story, to share your experience, to share
to share the things that you never thought that you could share, that you never thought anybody would want to hear. Do as I do and share them anyway. Share them for you, not for anybody else. Share them so you can let go of it. Share it so you can change the meaning. Share it so you can be whoever you wanted to see. Page 63. Roaches. Every night when I crawl under the moon, the roaches are at high noon. Everywhere I step, the roaches lay, crawling, shitting, and eating, they say. As soon as the light shines on the bay, they scatter and run with such dismay. I can see them run to my food, callously thinking how rude, infecting all that I chewed. Nothing left for me to eat, so I take my seat. Starving from the day I cry, because I can't eat anything under my eye. How my stomach roars, hunger constantly opening its wide doors. Page 54 Instruments Have you ever felt a tune, a song that makes the girls swoon? When their eyes meet your gaze and they seem a bit in a daze, your fingers pressing the keys, creating tunes that sway the trees, like all of nature is with my breeze. The instruments and I are one, I feel like the morning sun, bringing life to all that I hear, bringing all that I can near, just to listen to my sound, feeling like I struck a glory mound. Page 65. Lies and happiness. What if I didn't tell the truth? Not to be coy or trick Ruth, but to give her a chance for a smile. She always wanted a friend like Kyle. If I said I was like him, who would know? I can put on some tights, give a good show. What harm would it do to play a fool? Use my life like a tool. If they are happier, would it matter? Page 66. Rules. These are the words he said. Fifteen minutes early is on time. Thirty minutes early is early. On time is late. His words must be followed, or I'll be dead. His words echoed into my soul. It was sown. When I disobey, my bones will make his throne. Page 67. Food hurts. I love popcorn. The saltiness of the pop. Every time I am elated to the top, Friends know of me and my obsessions, a love that no one questions. Minutes after eating the glory snack, my lungs start to crack. My lungs and throat start to lack. Run, I go to the porcelain bowl. I hurl and hurl all the contents of my stomach in water. Standing up, I falter. Something is very wrong, seeing two knocking on the door of the loo. I drag myself to the nurse, my skin red, itchy, 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 I said. I don't understand what's going on, I feel like death's pawn. My throat is tight, skin on fire, yet my father would still say, I am a liar. It's all in my head. Page 68. He hit me on my arm, pain searing like an animal on the farm, again, Right on the same spot, precision and strength he sought. Again his hand sear my skin, I cover it with my hand ever so thin. Aiming at the tumor, at the whack I don't recoil, aghast in horror of pain popping boil. Hell spreads through my body, it shakes, the echo of pain rebounding quakes. No sound comes from hollow cries, tears falling, unable to breathe. He tries, he tries, for my death is next. Now I know. Father cares not for my pain. Page 69. Even when I run, I won't go far enough. Even when I scream, it won't be loud enough. Even when I cry, it won't be true enough. Even when I'm in pain, I'm not strong enough. Even when I beg, it won't be worth enough. Even when I die, I won't 
be enough. I know I'm nowhere near enough. Page 70. Loopholes. He said not to swim in the pool, but he did not raise a fool. In the river the current will run, in the river I will have my fun. If he can't see my action, then there could be no reaction. He may treat me like a tool, but I'm good at playing the fool. Again, I encourage you to share a time that you went around the world, that you found a loophole, and you did what you wanted to do. Page 71. Not only at home. Whether they be big or small, the toll takes all. When someone has power over you, you shall see it too. They use it for their own gain until their power starts to wane. Power makes some insane. The advantage goes to their brain. I have been pummeled and punched, leaving me battered and hunched, promising when I grow older I'll use my power for something bolder. To help others that have been through the same, my mind dedicated to help those left lame. A small idea of growth, a shred of self-worth. It's just the start. Page 72. Dogs. When I need a reason to leave, I can throw on my cotton sleeve. Call my little husky over when raining, we would run for cover. At times I'd cry, she would offer her support. My dad is screaming, cutting it short. My husky is a little furry fort. Always so alert. The joy of making a friend, unfortunately for me, it always meets its end. Always the same, whether it's man or creature, there are no difference in feature. I move away, they are given away, life taken away, does not matter what I sell. Does not matter what problem I slay, the relationship does not stay. I harbor this pit of sadness, the feeling filling me with madness. Am I not worth a companion? Page 73. Take me away. Describe a time that you wanted to be taken away. That you wanted to get out of the situation that you were in. Where do you want to go? What do you want to see? Who do you want to be? Let us know. Home is an atrocity, always holding so much animosity. When I step in the door, it takes my air, choking under the strain of their care. I know it's not fair. Kids go home with a loving embrace. I go home to feel punched in the face. With the thought that I'm not enough, all the reasons I'm not tough, all of them trying to determine my worth, little did they know what I brought forth. Join a couple clubs, a few hours of freedom, create an extracurricular kingdom. Picking up new skills, exercising the doubt, at least I won't have to hear them shout. Joining any group that can take me if only the pain was visible to see. Page 74. Rare events. It seems very rare, but sometimes I win. I swore by how I reacted it would be a sin. When my life seeming so thin, the idea I want to raffle had me baffled. No way it was my name that was said. Someone pinched me, I must be in bed. For once the world gave me a lead, until he pulls it out like a weed. Still, the wind planted its seed. One day, it'll grow to feed. Page 75. Every name. When the days grew long and weary, the night would open up to me, teary, water gushing from my face, my thoughts keeping pace, hands clasped to the heavens so tight, praying to a God to make things right, not knowing its name but hoping for change, and my prayers having a large range. From a pitiful cry to begging desperate pleas, knowing if I was seen I would be teased, every night hoping my prayers would be heard, that I would no longer be cast away as the turd. Whether it was a good day or a tragedy, being with them left me so raggedy. Feeling so defeated and torn, my only hope was running worn. But no matter the night, I prayed like it was my fight, a fight to stay alive, something, anything 
to help me strive. Hopefully one day, my prayers will be told as the dream that even God was sold. Page 76. Sexuality. It's talked in a hushed tone. It's not something you speak over the phone. You aren't to do it alone. If you mess up, your fate is sown. There would be no cutting the ties. Nothing could cover your lies. The evidence on your face. The guilt leaving every bit of a trace. Either you're stuck with a child or diseases that leave you ugly and wild. You cannot touch another human being. You can't touch one's own dingling. The rules have been set in stone. All the sins will be shown. One mistake is what could cost your life. Never think to do it except with your wife. Leaving us feeling ashamed to have these urges. Feeling animalistic with these sexual surges. Now I'm alone with my guilt. I make a sinful quilt. Fool of all of my mistakes. Life is short. Why put on the brakes? Either way, I have been sold. At least, that's what I've been told. Now these are uh, some some extras. Um, so... Some bonus clips. You guys get a little bit extra. This will be different from the first audiobook. My pain and sorrows full of so much unease. Wallowing torment that haunts my inner beings. I knew the terror came from in deep inside my pain. A worry, a hatred, a deep echo in my brain. Can you say the words that echo through me? The ones that even I can't see? That of which comes from the deepest plane, the one when you veer off the lane. The path made me somewhat insane, a knowing that you just can't feign. A trueness from inside my soul, the words taking its toll. Just trying to use my toil to create a better soil, to sow for the children a better future, one that has no excluder. What do you dream of? What do you hope to see? What kind of future do you want? Please share with us. Now gifted with a new life. God has blessed me, can't you see? Love always knows who I was and is to be. Granting me a gift towards being me. Loving and strong as the tree. Loving embrace is to be free. It took one action to cause the reaction to change from hate to love. The forgiveness shove. Now I am gifted with a new life. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am crying. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am sorry for trying. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I was lying. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am surviving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am now thriving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thank you for all that you have been through with me during this. And I thank you for sharing yourself. And I thank you for expressing yourself. And I thank you for trying to become the best you that you could possibly be. Because you wouldn't be watching this far if you didn't want to be the best person you could possibly be. And I thank you for that. Please reach out to me. Tell me what you need. Let me help you get there. It's what my life is for, to spread love and hope and prosperity. I created Love Changes, first international online nonprofit dedicated to ending child abuse. And we have a big plan coming up. We have a lot of free things for the people that show their support. But if you want to get involved, just let us know. We'll let you know how. But this is our dream. Everyone that 
is part of Love Changes understands this dream that we've created together. And I hope you can appreciate it. My dream, a dream of warriorless laughter and play, a world full of food and love without pay, places where children can be free without the worry of a fee, children new to the earth, looking and discovering from birth, never knowing the pain of the past, the things we used to hold on to fast, the past of hungry kids and worries, the past of abused children and unheard stories. The children who were killed in silence, now we no longer know this violence. A story which has been untold, but here I'll give it to you, now sold. The only thing that I hope and dream for, a dream that I hope will be the lore. The bedtime stories of a crueler past, a story where the children were thought of last. Now our focus on the future is nigh, but I still sit here and sigh for the past was so treacherous and insane it has never left my brain. I am the last one who tells the tale of the world where the parents fail, the world that changed its view. Now we have a world of new, a paradise created by our hands, holding on to the fans, the fans of peace, love, and joy, and our need for safety for every little boy. No longer will children die from the unjust lie, the lie we told ourselves. It is plausible, but now we know it is possible. Thank you. For your time. Everything earned from this video will go to making this dream a reality. And I hope to see you on the better side of our future. Thank you. And thank you for our great participants today in this lovely, beautiful scenery. This amazing tree, Akko, the show, and all the things that we can be grateful for. The power running our homes, the people that keep us going, the words that give us hope, the air that fills our lungs, the water that fills our body, the food that fills our stomach. Thank you. Thank you to the universe for providing all that we have, for giving us these moments to share and be heard. Thank you for the opportunity to be here in silence, to listen to the sounds and feel the world around us. Thank you for another day of life. Thank you for helping us get to a future where every child feels safe, secure, love, fed. I thank you for helping us. I thank you for getting us there. I thank you for making the future a possibility that will be made into reality. I thank you because 10 years from now, we're going to live in a completely different world. And we're the ones who decide what it's going to be like. And I thank you for making the future that we envision a possibility to making it a reality. Seeing everything that we've ever wanted to see. I thank you for all the children that would be saved. I thank you for the empire of love we will create. The people that we will feed the people that we will care for. I thank you for all the lives saved, prevented from being abused, prevented from being used. I thank you. And I hope to see you, to thank you in person. I love you. And once more, I thank you for your time. Please share with us.